Police released some revealing evidence video from a deadly DWI crash in Lake Worth now that the driver has been convicted. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The video shows the drunk driver moments after he ran a red light at an intersection, causing the crash back in November of 2021 and then trying to run away. But an angry Good Samaritan did not let him leave. Police also released video from an ongoing investigation into the bartender they say overserved then 26 year old Dylan Molina, who looks like he's stumbling drunk right before this crash. Molina ended up killing off duty ULIS police officer Alex Cervantes. Fox 4's David Centendry is in Lake Worth tonight with a really compelling message from the police chief. David. Yeah, Heather and Steve, the chief of police says Dylan Molina was served more alcohol than anyone should drink. After that, he was involved in a minor crash in a parking lot, and from there he fled the scene, ran a red light, and got involved in another crash, one in which he killed Detective Alex Cervantes, also injuring his family. What happens next is caught on newly released video. Dylan Molina, wearing a black University of Oregon hoodie, drunkenly crashed his rental Jeep into a sedan while driving at a high rate of speed through a Lake Worth intersection moments after the crash. Molina, 26 years old at the time, runs away from the scene. He does not make it far. <laughs> Molina face plants, and while some neighbors desperately try to save the family inside the sedan, another neighbor holds Molina down and cusses him out. Stay right there, mother you see what you did? The driver of the sedan was off-duty Yulis police detective Alex Cervantes. He died at the scene. His wife and two boys were injured but survived. In January, Molina took a plea deal and pleaded guilty to intoxication manslaughter. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Now, bartender Kayla Richardson is facing a misdemeanor charge for allegedly over-serving Molina before the crash. It is the same approach that we apply to all DWI investigations, all fatality crashes that involve alcohol. Lake Worth Police Chief J.T. Monashagan is showing Fox 4 surveillance footage of Molina and Richardson at a Fuzzy's taco shop. And there you see Dylan Molina walking from behind the bar area from the inside out to the outer bar area and you see the bartender waving him around telling him you know you can't be back there you need to move at this point he stumbles backwards grabs the bar to try to maintain his balance richardson served molina eight double vodka red bull cocktails that saturday morning according to an arrest affidavit eight doubles 16 single shots is more than anybody should have in a three hour period, maybe even at all. Clearly intoxicated, he's holding another one of those double vodka and Red Bull drinks there, and then he simply walks away. But as Molina begins to leave the parking lot, is involved in a minor crash, flees from the scene of that minor crash. Minutes later, he kills Detective Cervantes. Earlier this month, Fox 4 sat down with Cervantes' widow, Priscilla, as she spoke about raising a family without her husband and Molina's 15-year sentence. It's not going to bring Alex back, but at least he's locked behind bars and he's not able to hurt another family like he did ours. Lake Worth police showed Priscilla the video of Molina running away. Now the department wants everyone to see it because they say it highlights a heartbreaking story, which hopefully someone can learn from. The offense of driving while intoxicated is something that we're not going to tolerate. Dylan Molina had a previous DWI arrest in Sansom Park, not too far from here, months before the deadly DWI crash. But for some reason over in Sansom Park, he was let go and he was not charged with that crime until after he caused this crash that killed Detective Cervantes. So Sansom Park came out with that information after this case here in Lake Worth. They said they were launching an internal investigation, hiring an outside consultant, but that information, as far as what happened, has never been made public, but that charge was grouped in with this charge, which led to a 15-year prison sentence.